So we have a nice lovely exercise here called alternate arms that I'm teaching Hannah. One of the really nice things about it is that it really encourages a little bit of side bending in through the ribs and nice deep breathing which is really nice for relaxation. We get a nice opening through the front of the chest because we're lying on the foam roller with gravity. Next one here we're going to do some shoulder drops. Again nice release for the back of the shoulders so I'm trying to get her to think shoulders heavy and dropping that weight into the back of the shoulders. And we're going to go breathing, so I'm getting her to inhale and then exhale and drop and think heavy in the back of those shoulders. In and out, so nice relaxation. We're going to do one-sided here, so she, she had a bit of a giggle there, but we're um, doing one-sided just to kind of play with it a little bit. And so you can see those shoulders are quite heavy, it's nice relaxing exercise. Again, opening the chest and lots of breathing happening there. So this next exercise is really good, nice relax for the upper body. So we're going to inhale, shrug the shoulders to the ears, exhale and we slide the shoulder blades down, trying to think about creating space in between the ears and the shoulders. We pull the bar down, we're going to do the same here, we've got to hold the bar still and now we bring the shoulders up and slide down. So we go up to the ears on the inhale and we exhale, slide the shoulder blades forward and we just repeat that a few times, nice deep breathing, again very relaxing exercise. Okay, Hannah's doing leg swings here. This is really good for anyone who has tight hips. It's a nice mobilization for the hips. Also really good for the spine, a little bit of spinal rotation. So you can see I'm coaching her to draw a circle. A little giggle there again, because we're kind of not quite doing it with perfect technique, but she's having fun and she's breathing and mobilizing, which is the most important thing. So we're just gonna trace that foot around the outside of the other one and swing it over the top. And we're just gonna keep repeating. Okay, the last one we have here is Hannah doing some basic leg and footwork on the reformer. She's in a small V position with her feet, a little bit like a ballet first position, and a little bit of external rotation of the hips. And I'm just coaching her to think about lengthen and press uphill and stretch those legs, really use the muscles the whole way up and the whole way down.